Well, we got another hot week ahead as July continues to wind down, but any chance of any wet weather? Let's go ahead and check in with Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane right now. Tara, uh, pretty clear today so far. What about the, the rest of the night? The rest of this evening looking pretty good. I mean, for most neighborhoods, that's one thing that's not going to change. This chance of storms eventually coming back and the hot weather that will be in place for most of this week. Although we are getting a break from the 90s today for most of us here sitting at 87 right now in the Queen City. The wind is nice and calm and dew points not too bad when you see those readings in the mid and upper 60s. Yes, a little bit in the humid zone, but nothing terribly steamy out there. We've got the relative humidity at 51%. And temperatures area-wide, again, most of us in the 80s, just shy of 90 there in Wadesboro. And we're right at an even 90 degrees. In Lancaster, we've got mid-80s in Shelby, upper 80s now in Morganton. And the not-as-hot upper 70s up in the mountains. But those dew points from the mountains and down through the foothills, again, really not too bad. Mid-upper 60s, some 50s there in the higher elevations. But you head farther off to the south, and it is a little more muggy with those numbers in the lower 70s. So feeling more of uh, that steaminess outside and the muggy meter. Eventually it is going to be more in the oppressive zone later on this week and adding to just how hot it actually feels. So again, 80s for most of us around here, but you can still see plenty of heat back off to the south and west for yet another week, especially across sections of Texas. And we're going to be feeling some of those triple digits by the end of the week. Now, in terms of the showers and storms, again, much drier compared to 24 hours ago, but we do have a couple of little isolated tiny showers that have developed mostly in the higher terrain here and up in the mountains of Burke and Caldwell counties, but really a shower that was a little heavier northwest of Morganton earlier has faded away. And then we look up into, uh, say, part of Caldwell County and just right on the border there, Watauga County, a little light to moderate pop up shower. But otherwise, we are looking good. We have much better chance of those scattered storms for the rest of this evening, staying over central and eastern North Carolina, where we have more scattered activity, and north and west, too, where it looks like they have that, where you see that pink. So we have thunderstorm watch in effect over sections of the Midwest. So mostly clear through the night while you're sleeping. Wind will be light and variable temperatures falling in the upper 60s to start the day tomorrow. And yes, indeed, the 90s will be returning starting with tomorrow. More widespread 90s expected. And as I've been talking about more humidity as well, typical summertime conditions, but above average temperatures and eventually with more of that heat and the addition of more humidity uh, some disturbances rolling through from time to time will get the return of those better chances of afternoon and evening pop up storms later in the week. Tomorrow we're still mostly dry across the Piedmont here. The more favored zone for seeing a few pop up storms will again be up toward the mountains and foothills. So tomorrow lots of sunshine, plenty of Carolina blue and yes, sizzling 94 for that top temperature. West southwest wind at 5 to 10, but those feels like temperatures factoring the humidity not feeling really much different for the next couple of days. Yes, not until the end of the week and heading into the weekend. Once you factor in more of that stickiness, more of that moisture in the air, will it feel hotter like 100 plus? And if you're heading to Panthers training camp kicking off this week, Wednesday, Thursday in the morning, thankfully, because it will be more like in the 80s compared to the low and mid 90s, like it will be later in the afternoon. So it's good. Yes, that they're having those practices earlier in the day and still forecasting mostly dry conditions, especially that early in the day, late morning and the early part of the afternoon. You can see on Futurecast, we get some dry time tomorrow morning, and then we start to see some of those hit or miss spotty storms, mainly in the mountains and foothills and points east later tomorrow afternoon. Same type of pattern into Wednesday as well. So again, mostly dry the next couple of days, slightly better chances of those scattered storms later in the week. And look at that straight 90s starting tomorrow.